let no man despise thy youth. Examples of believers we in every word and every deed in spirit, love, faith, and purity. Whate'er thy hand doth find to do, do it then with all thy might. Thy effort shall reap God's rewards, so then fight the good fight. Justify. By faith in God, we have peace through Christ, His Son. While we were sinners, Jesus died, that in Him we might be one. So let no man despise thy youth. Examples of believers we in every word and every deed in spirit, love, faith, and purity. That's a song that goes back to the days when I was a youth pastor and I wrote a theme song for a youth group. And it was based, of course, upon 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse number 12. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. And that's a mouthful. That's, a, that's not one message. That's a series of messages. But Paul was writing to Timothy and encouraging him because Timothy had so many good things going for him, but... He had one deficit, and that deficit was that he was a relatively young man, a young pastor, and uh, as such, he didn't automatically have the respect of some of the older members. And so Paul was saying, don't let anybody despise your youth. Don't let anybody uh, look down on you simply because of a number, because of a chronological number. But instead, uh, demonstrate these various uh, virtues and qualities of leadership. Be an example of the believers in word, in conversation, that means in lifestyle conduct. In charity, that means in giving love. In spirit, that's attitude. In faith, that's believing God, claiming the promises of God through the word of God. And in purity, a personal lifestyle which is above reproach. It's not for young people only, but for all of us. We need to be an example of the believers. What about you? Right now, are you under conviction? I know that every time I read the Word of God, the Spirit of God shows me something in my life. Let's go to Him in prayer, shall we? Father, we pray right now for every believer, everyone that's listening, everyone that's viewing. I pray, God, that you'll uh, show us areas of our life where we need to yield to you. Forgive us where we have failed you, Lord, and help us to be an example of the believers. And I pray just now for those that might need something special as they're convicted that they might turn to you. With heads bowed and eyes closed, if you've never been saved, then right now would be a good time for you to call on the name of the Lord. Right now would be an opportunity for you to be saved. Would you pray from your heart right now? Something like this, Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I deserve to pay for my sins. I believe Jesus died for me. And right now I receive the Lord into my heart as my Savior. Please take away my sins and take me to heaven. And if you prayed that prayer, won't you let us know? We'd love to rejoice with you. And if you're winning souls, please share that with us as well. Right now, let's pray for the sick. Lord, we pray for those that are on beds of affliction, those in hospitals, those that are facing a, a treatment or a diagnosis. Help them, give them strength and encourage them. I pray for those who have loved ones and family that are going through physical difficulties as well as other challenges in life. Lord, we pray for those that are uh, under financial burdens and those that are looking for jobs and those that need help and those that need encouragement. Be with each one, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. So, let no man despise thy youth. Let no man 
despise thy youth. Examples of believers we in every word and every deed in spirit love faith and purity let's be an example of the believer today god bless you